let's get to the video okay um this is just a basic simple fanny pack slim well not that slim but uh not bulky there's only uh two compartments a front compartment and a back compartment very simple you know sleek doesn't get in the way i added this patch by the way yes i'm all positive um my uh, first item is a cpr face mask yes i'm uh qualified to uh, perform cpr um this is important um like i said in one of my videos you are your first responder you are first in line um, to take care of yourself to take care of your family now you can't give cpr to yourself but um you could do this for your friends and family um always call 911 first but uh, uh you know be responsible take the training course um i have a lot of these cpr face masks everywhere in my kits okay I'm gonna go into the first compartment. And here I just got um one of those free wallets that you get at a check cashing place here in the city in New York. I don't know about the states, but a uh, little free disposable wallet. Uh, here I got a paper kit. Uh, I use paper clips for a lot of things. Uh, my my guyver tool like everybody else calls it a large needle for repairs uh, sewing maybe uh, popping blisters uh, all types of stuff I got sewing string in the kit this is a good spot to put a mirror to by the way that's what I uh, usually do when I travel with one of these wallets. Fresno lens. Help start a fire or if something, you know, I need to read. There you go. I don't wear glasses. I don't need glasses, but, uh, you know, maybe uh, later on in life. And what this is, this is um, flammable paper. Um, you use this to uh, perform tricks, like magic. But um, I didn't have no use for it anymore. This is something I had for a long time. And what it is, it's just, yeah, thin flammable paper. So I just threw it in here. So maybe, you know. I could use it to uh, help start a fire. It's slim. You know, it's not my first choice into uh, starting fires, but it would do. Here I got a fire steel to help start a fire. There you go. And this is a striker. I removed this. So I can scrape it. Long red bungee cord. I like bungee cords. Um, if I was to drop this, that's why it's bright orange. But if I still can't see it, if it falls on tall grass, um, what's good about having like some type of string, uh, if it falls on tall grass, the heavy item will fall down where you can't see it, but the cord Will still be caught up on the grass so it's good to have some type of a bright color cord and uh and since bungee stretch i could use this on my backpack if you know if i have a jacket on and i don't have space in my backpack to uh hook on my jacket or a sweater you know bungee cord will do the trick i could also you know hang this off a tree um, or I could cut it into pieces or leave a trail. So if I was hiking in the woods, you know, I could 
find my way back. A big lighter, Gorilla duct tape, wrapped around, fits perfect. It's like the exact size of a mini big lighter. Decent amount. I call it a burn Gorilla duct tape, help start a fire. And a mirror. Like I said earlier, you know, uh, this is where I uh, usually put a mirror. There you go. Sign falls in my eye. You know, very useful to have a mirror. And this is a little bit of everything. Here I got um, a mix of a uh, black string, gray string, braided fishing line in the center. So I could use this as my uh, heavy duty sewing needle for a repair. Okay. A glow stick. Another bungee cord. I just tied in small little knots to make the cord shorter, but uh, it's actually longer, fits around my neck. So I could attach a lot of items onto my neck if I have to. Um, if you get a glow stick, chem light, um, go for green or yellow, because green and yellow are, in my opinion, much brighter than any other colors. As an example, this is the same glow stick. So I'm not sure how well this comes out. But uh, yeah, it's bright. Take my word for it. Green or yellow. I'll just leave this here for the camera. I think it looks nicer for the moment. Sunscreen. A cat tourniquet. I got a lot of these around. I think I got about five or six. Um, keep it in the plastic, keep it nice and clean. Last resort. Take the training, last resort. Don't use this for a paper cut. Use this for severe bleeding. If you can't provide pressure, if it's that bad, if you lost a complete limb, then you can apply this tourniquet. So take the training. Don't take advice from me. Learn your stuff. Here I got some hand sanitizer. And this is uh, medical gloves. All in one package. My brother gave me this. This is my Fire Altoids tin. Uh, I got a couple items in here. I'm going to do a separate review on this. My mini small Altoids tin. Check out my review on this. Uh, I got a little... Uh, a little bit of everything in here. Tweezers, uh, a mirror, sewing needle, uh, a little light. Fully loaded. Nail clippers. Um, sometimes I find fishing line and fishing hooks when I'm near water. So this will help me, you know, cut up some uh, fishing line. Besides that, I use it for my nails, you know, but um, very useful, you know, especially, you know, when you're dealing with fishing type uh, string. Dr. Brown or soap. I like to wash my hands a lot, so sometimes I go to, to a public bathroom and there's no soap. So, you know, that's why it's here. I could use this soap for anything. It's a multi-use type soap. Look it up. Uh, I highly recommend it.
That's the peppermint, by the way. There's different types of uh, scent. All right, my uh, Leatherman Sidekick. Spring loaded. My mini hobo stove. Now what this is, is a little tin. This is wax. Uh, put a lot of wax here. I could always uh, remove some of the wax. I could reuse the wax. Put it on my cotton ball, start a fire. Um, but what's in here is that it's wax with cardboard. And I light this up with a lighter. And this will stay lit for about nine minutes. So this is uh, when you get the chance, just Google hobo stove. And uh, that's basically what this is. It's just a miniature size. It's basically uh, a mini stove, in other words, you know, um, I can use it to cook or uh, start a fire. Like, I don't have to uh, have this burn the whole time. I could if I wanted to, but uh, it's just a quick way to start something. A headlamp. This is my backup light. I prefer uh, a tactical flashlight. But if I'm hiking or traveling, you know, a headlamp is perfect. This has the the white LED and the red LED. The red LED is uh, very useful. Bug spray. A small spork. Now, this is a, a Mylar blanket, emergency. If I was really cold with this or a tea light candle, this will warm me up. This reflects 80, 90% body heat, but if you're close to a fire, this will heat up. This will help you get through the night. It, you can also use it for signaling also, you know, if you need to be rescued, you could just hang it on the tree or put it on the ground, you know, it's highly reflective. Cordage, juke, I prefer bank line, paracord is good too, uh, what I like about juke cord is that, uh, Multi-purpose. You could use it as rope. You could use. You could fer, uh, tear it apart and use it as a, uh, turn it into a bird's nest, and uh, scrape it with a fire steel or light it up with a lighter. Uh, it's a multi-use item. I, I like it. It's it's disposable. You know, it's something that's cheap and used for many things, or you could loan it to someone. Use it for uh, for shelter too. Almost forgot all uh, these uh but these are slap bracelets that the kids let's see there it goes. This was popular uh back then. But uh what I like about this is that uh if I'm with somebody and the person that I'm with, it could be a child, it could be another person, it could be my dog. Um I could strap it on them, you know, on their backpack, you see, there you go, got it on my fanny, so I could strap it on a tree, I could cut it into pieces, leave a trail, so, very useful. Keep that on my cord, cause uh, run out of space in here. So 
this is a good way to organize it or you could just pinch it you know on the outside doesn't matter whatever a bandana um you can wet this with water you can wrap it around your head wrap it around your neck keep cool you can use this to collect water you could um use this for first aid uh a lot of use a garbage bag use this as a poncho if you're cold this this will keep you warm a bit you can add them together the mylar in the garbage bag um you could do a lot with a garbage bag you could put it down lay it on the bench on wet grass this is a i believe a 33 gallon so I was, you know it's not as strong as a 55 gallon but i can't fit a 55 gallon in there so this is strong enough hand warmers because if your hands are cold and then you can't perform and you know you want to be able to do as much as you can with your hands out in the field so you got to be able to keep your hands warm a little basic first aid here i got a little bit of everything got some tweezers here another paper clip three large uh safety pins little gauze pad uh small band-aids big band-aids moleskin for blisters for the feet a bigger gauze pad alcohol prep pads uh medical tape ointment and that's it oh one more item a pocket bellow help me start a fire and that's pretty much it let me know what you think like my video subscribe to my channel share this video what would you add what would you take out um, message me and i'll be back for the next one